It seems like we have a love-hate relationship with our body. When it's working right, when it feels good, when it looks good, we love our bodies. But when our bodies don't feel good, when they hurt, when they don't work right, or when they just don't look good, we, we're not sure what to do with our bodies, but we're kind of stuck with it, aren't we? The ancient Greek philosopher Plato believed that the body was like a prison house for the soul, and the soul would be released from the body upon death, and it would be free and all of that. But that's not the Christian idea. In fact, Jesus and his apostles all taught that there's hope for your body. I'm John Whitaker, and this is the Five Minute Bible Study. I'd love for you to subscribe if it seems like something that would be helpful to you. In this particular study, we're looking at what is the Christian hope for our body. And it, this study grows out of the first video we did that talked about Romans chapter 8. And we were asking the question, will God never let us down? In the context of Romans 8, we noticed the phrase, redemption of our bodies. What is that about? Well, here's the thing. God gave you a body. God likes your body. And God wants you to have a body forever. Yep, that's right. You'll have a body forever. Wait, hold on. You mean I'm not going to be a spirit floating around on clouds with a halo on my head playing my harp? No, you're not. You're going to have a body forever because there's hope for your body. And the most complete explanation of this in one place in the New Testament is 1 Corinthians 15. It's a long chapter with a lot in it. We don't have time to look at all the details. You might want to read it for yourself, but let me just hit a few passages for you. 1 Corinthians 15, verse 42 and following says this, So it is with the resurrection of the dead. What is sown perishable will be raised imperishable. It is sown in dishonor, but it will be raised in glory. It will be sown in weakness, yet it will be raised in power. Paul's point is, is that this current body is perishable and weak and dying. But there's going to be a new body someday that will be imperishable, that will be glorious and full of power. That we have been given this body and God wants us to have a body forever, a new, restored, glorified body. Well, what about those people who aren't dead when Jesus returns? What about the living? What's going to happen to them? Well, guess what? If you're alive when Christ returns, you're going to get a new, restored, imperishable body as well. Listen to what Paul says a little bit later in 1 Corinthians 15. In verse 51, the Apostle Paul writes, Behold, I tell you a mystery. We'll not all sleep, meaning we won't all die, but we shall all be changed in a moment, in a twinkling of an eye, at the last trumpet. For the trumpet will sound, and the dead will be raised imperishable, and we will all be changed. What he means is, the dead are going to get their resurrected body, and those who are alive, they're going to be transformed and changed as well. They're going to get a new, restored, glorious body as well. And this isn't just like some pious fiction. This isn't just like some hope that maybe... Maybe we'll be able to have a great body forever. It's not just some wishful thinking. This is based on fact. It's based on the fact of Jesus' resurrection. The first one to be raised that will all follow suit who are in him someday. Listen to what uh, the Apostle Paul writes a little earlier in 1 Corinthians 15. Paul writes in 1 Corinthians 15, 21, For as by a man, meaning Adam, death came into the world, so too by a man... Uh, resurrection has also come into the world. For as in Adam all die, so in Christ all shall be made alive. So Christ is the very first to be raised, and all of us who are in him will be made alive and resurrected, be given a glorified body in him. There you have it. There's hope for your body. You will have a body forever. It'll be a glorified, imperishable, resurrected body like Christ's very own resurrected body. Um, and you need that body to live on the new earth. We talked about that in our last video, that we're not going to be uh, in heaven forever, that heaven isn't our ultimate hope, that our ultimate hope is a new heavens and a new earth in which righteousness dwells. And you need a body suited for, fit for that new environment when God comes to live with us in a restored world. And so you will be given a new, perfect, glorified, imperishable body forever and ever. There's hope for your body and you'll get it at the resurrection. 
Thanks for checking out this video. Again, if you're thinking this kind of stuff would be helpful for you, go ahead and hit subscribe, maybe even click that bell icon so you'll get notified when new videos are uploaded from me. If you want other teachings from me, you can check out my podcast. It's called Bible and Life. You can find it on iTunes or uh, any other place where you listen to podcasts. And you can also check out my website, johnwhitaker.net. Uh, I'll put some of that in the notes down below, but you can check out my website, learn a little bit more about me and see some of the other things I'm up to. Again, thanks for joining us on the 5-Minute Bible Study.